All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome everyone to our YouTube page, SLR Family. And definitely, you're going to see mostly me. I'm going to be in the kitchen, definitely cooking. I'm also going to be separating um, the pages also as well because I want to start getting into dropping some of my cooking videos, you guys, and also um, just blogging outside of SLR family. So long story short, you guys, I'm laid back. I'm in the house. I'm chilling. And what's on the menu? I'm going to make some sweet peas. I was thinking about making some sweet peas and some fried chicken. You know, that's just what was on the menu. So I was like, you know what? And as I went along, I was like, well, let me change that up. So instead of making the sweet peas today, I'm going to be making some pork beans, some baked beans, you guys, country style, and original. I'm going to be mixing a can or two. Um, I got like maple country and I got original. So I'm going to be making out of those and I would like to have some fried chicken. Haven't had any fried chicken in a while. And also some cornbread. Jiffy Mix is what I'm going to be using today. I'm going to show you guys exactly all of the products that I'm going to be using within this video. That I'm going to be using within this video and definitely we're going to move from there. We got Promise down here featuring in our video right now. Dad, my mother, mom. Yes. So she's getting big, you guys. Definitely growing. Come here. Let mommy see. Come here. You just walking around here. Say hello to everybody, mommy. Say hello. Say hello. So this is Promise. Bye, Alberto. Bye. Thank you so much. So I had to run Alberto out of here. He just seems to want to be mommy, mommy, mommy. But anyway, we have Promise here. I'm going to be putting Promise back down. Go ahead and bring me her. Where's her stroller? You want your baba? You want baba? Go eat some of this cornbread tonight, mommy. Can I play with yeah. mom? Can I you going to eat some of that cornbread? Yeah. Huh? It's going to be good to you. Yeah, Okay, she's so gonna eat some of that cornbread tonight. So this is what's gonna be on the menu. I'm gonna watch you guys watch me as I get my prep on um, for my meal. So I'm gonna be using two cans of the country style baked beans. I'm gonna be using two cans of that, and I'm also gonna be using a pack of drumsticks to make my fried chicken. And I'm also gonna be making some of that. Jiffy mix back there. So I use a box and a half to make a um a whole um baking pan full of cornbread. So that's what we're doing today, you guys. Tomorrow tonight I wanted to do the um the ice cream and favors on the table, but I'm gonna do that tomorrow because I have to I want to decorate the table and like decorate it a little bit and then we're gonna get some more. So you guys to definitely look forward to that video, guys willing tomorrow, and that's what we're gonna be doing for tomorrow. So um right now I'm getting ready. I'm gonna put this baby down, go give me her scroller. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. Thank you. Go ahead and stroll it on around here. Yep. Stroll it on around here. And Naya, can you take Alberto to the room for me, please? He can go inside his bed. Okay, what is all of this? Okay, go put her, push that back over there. And let's put her inside her bed. Thank you. See you later. Put a little cocoa melon on for them. And let's get it going so I can get it popping. So first thing first, I have to wash my hands in the kitchen. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit so you guys can see exactly what's doing. This right here. Yes, I have dishwater in here, you guys. It's nothing. I always make dishwater when I'm getting ready to do it. So I'm going to wash my hands here. Watch anything. He can watch the ceiling. So, with that being said, you guys, I don't know why the kids, they just want to be extra and extra overexcited right now, doing the most, and that doesn't matter to me at this time. I know what I have to do, and um, that's what I'm doing. It's late. It's about 7.34 here um, where I live down here in Florida, so... I'm getting my meal together. Y'all watch along. Watch me, watch me, watch me. I got to kind of like move my camera around and stuff, y'all. We're going to get it better. We're going to get in it. And we're going to get things definitely moving.
talk, starting off with a pack of drumsticks. I'm going to clean them things up. I'm going to clean them up real quick and um move forward. So you guys, watch as I go along. So this is um, kind of some of the products that you're going to be um, needing to get this meal where you need it to be. I'm missing just one. Okay. So you're gonna need a spoon. Um spoon definitely with a hole in it, a full spoon, and um a small spoon to mix up your cornbread, and you're gonna need this, of course, this right here. Or a fork to flip your chicken. So that is um the utensils that we'll be using. Two cans of this pork and bone. I was um, also thinking about making like a um, a tuna salad. So I'm going to be using bumblebee. For those of you that want to know, it's bumblebee chunk light tuna. Well, the light is kind of bright, you guys. So sorry. Let me see if I can get it so you guys can see. There you go. Bumblebee chunk light tuna. Um, that's what I'm going to be using, you guys. That's what I'm going to be using. And um, two cans of these country styles. And um, this fried chicken. I think I should go ahead and um, make another can, but I don't want to overdo it. So, yeah, I'm going to make another can. I'm going to put another can in. All right, so here we go. You also want to get your stove um, preheated to have your um your chicken going. I usually use between six and seven to get my oil nice and hot and going. So this cannot be no all day process. And I'm pouring um, oil in there. I want you guys to watch along as much oil as I'm putting in here so you guys can see. Okay. So basically, I have about this much oil inside this bottle. You can see how much oil is in there. And then I'm going to be pouring some inside the pot. I'm going to be pouring a lot of it in the pot. I'm just going to go ahead and pour the rest of this inside this pot, okay? So you also want to make sure, like I said, that you're preheating your oven between um, six and seven, which is where I use mine. And then my can, my box. Let me see if I have a half box left in here. Nope. I don't like to um, overuse the grocery. I like to overdo the grocery, so I'm gonna use a box and a half here. So back over here to my chicken prep over here to where I'm getting my meal ready to go. And I please bring me the last all white. So I kind of like to um clean my, my, my chicken up, honey. I like to get my kitchen cleaned up. Y'all hear MJ in the back, that's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with the kid, trust me. He just like to hear me go. He don't like salads right here. Thank you. What are you doing? Me, I can't stand um, 
hair on my chicken. So like make sure I'm going over my chicken and getting the um, hair off. Majority of the hair, the little bit of hair they will burn off is the big ones that I, I just can't get into it. So that's how I um I kind of just get it. That's how you pull the feathers up. You'll notice feathers on your chicken by scraping it with a knife. You don't necessarily have to cut it. You can just um, grab the hair against the knife and just pull it loose. For those that don't know how to get the hairs on chicken, some people just don't like it. But I'm gonna tell you this, I got to clean my chicken. I ain't, I ain't getting into no hairy chicken. And like I said, you guys, you don't have to be OCD with it. You know, no offense to those that do have that condition because the majority of the little bit of hairs are going to burn off it's the big ones that i can't get into and i'm pretty sure your guests are not going to get into it neither so unless they like chicken hair 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 on the chicken so while your oil is over there preheating I had it over there heating up for like two minutes now. So by the time it gets to about five minutes, the oil will be ready to go. That gives you time to season up your chicken, which some people like to season their chicken overnight for a better sticking in taste, which I don't blame you, okay? But right now, baby, I gotta get this meal on. I'm getting this meal on, so I like to um make sure I got all the hairs off of there. Say, MJ, say, close that door. Say, close that door. Is Corey woke now? Go wake Corey up and tell Corey I said, do what I told him to do. So that's all to it, you guys. As I'm um getting this all you got to do, we'll clean that chicken up. Also, you guys, the seasoning, I'm going to show you guys the seasoning and some of my followers that follow us definitely over on Facebook on Proud 7 and also Proud Mommy of 7. They um follow us and they were like, girl, why don't you use that Sazon seasoning? I, I never thought of even using that seasoning. You understand what I'm saying? When I started using it, I fell in love ever since. So that would definitely be one of my um seasonings, you guys, that I will be using tonight. So, we got all our chicken nice and cleaned off. We throw this in the trash. I don't believe in that putting it to the side. I mean, I like to nip it in the bud. So, I'm going to rinse my hands back off real quick. And I'm going to let it all wipe. I'm going to count them off real fast. Good job. I need to go get another um thing. Now you go get the um girl, these is fast right now. I get I bring it out because I don't want to go in and disturb them. Alright, so let's all wipe that down real quick, y'all. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. That is done. So I'm gonna get this um get to rinsing because right now my water, my um my oil over there is um getting hot and ready. So what I gotta do is start kicking it in. So I like to put a little, little bit of vinegar up in there while I'm washing it. And you just wash your chicken down inside the pot and your pan. Sorry that you guys can't really see me. But um, see it right there? There you go. You just throw a little vinegar in there. See that cloudiness right there? That vinegar gonna clean that chicken right on up. 
and it gives it a nice little out and it can be a, like I said, you throw that water off and then it is the, you know, it cleans the impurities out of meat, okay? Like the, the little small little stuff, like the gook and, you know, it cleans it out. So I also like to splash it one more time and watch, let you guys watch me as I get ready to season this. I wish I could have zoomed it in a little bit more for you guys. Unfortunately, I can't. We'll soon we'll have that on the guests. So I'm going to post some of this vinegar off in there. Okay, I'm going to be using some of this Sazon seasoning. My father was also putting me on to this. I've loved it ever since. So I'm going to be using me personally. I use about two packs of that. I'm going to be opening up two packs at a time, boom, boom, and spreading them things on out. Spreading them on out. Put it on in there. I got some more stuff to throw down up in there. Let me put one more. So I'm going to use three, you guys. I'm going to use three. Got a lot of chicken in here. So I'm going to use three. Okay, that's not my last little bit of season. I got more. I have more, you guys. Give me one moment. So I'm gonna be using this here. Matter of fact, let me get a bowl. I can use a little bowl. Matter of fact, child, let me get this plastic bag. I use a plastic bag, you guys, to put my flour in and shake my chicken up, you guys. So I'm gonna be um, you just take a bag here and you get your flour, okay? You get your flour. I'm gonna open the flour on up, okay? And you're going to fold a good amount of flour inside of this bag. I'm going to show you guys how much of a good amount because you want to make sure that each part of your chicken is getting flour. Okay. Put the rest of that portion up. Back to the seasoning. I use also a little bit of the complete seasoning by Bia. Love them. Okay. So not only did I use three packs of the Sazon, I'm going to be sprinkling some of this up in there too. So I'm going to give you like... I'll say about 15 shakes of this. 15 shakes will get it, you know, where you need it to be. Nice and seasoned and flavored. Okay. Also, also, I'm also gonna be, I'm gonna be adding and a little bit of mustard. A little bit of mustard is what I'm gonna be adding on because that will contain it. So I use a little bit of mustard also as well, you guys. Can I watch you cook? Yeah, definitely. You can watch me cook. So this is the amount of flour that you guys need to have inside of that bag. Here you go. Matter of fact, let me turn this light off because it's giving a glare where you guys really cannot see. So you put about this amount of flour inside the bag. Let me hold it up. Then you can just see it. Okay, so you put about this much amount of flour, okay, inside of your bag. That'll get you a pack of 14 chickens down and popping. So I turned the light off because it was too much of a light glare. I'm going to bring it down a notch. Let me change it. There we go. All right, so this is a more of a, a settled lighting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix that up. I'm gonna mix that up. And I'm using a spoon because I got nails. I'm just gonna mix that up real good. Ooh, that looks nice, right? Yes. Yeah. So you just mix it up, you guys. Bring all that meat all up from that bottom. Mix that thing on. Oh. Oh, it looks so good and it smells like mayo. Excuse me. All right, so you guys. So now that I got that done, this is what your meat will be looking like down inside your pot, ready to go inside of your flour to cook it. it looks delicious, right? I know. Get into it. Yeah. So we're gonna get ready to fry this baby up. Let me go ahead and get my water on right now for my um right. tuna salad. For my tuna salad. Excuse me for one second. Thank you.
I heard you guys. Sorry, but looking at the back of my head, but I'm just getting my pot on um, ready for the noodles. Go sit down on the couch. Thank you. So you put this amount of water, you guys. So you can put it, see how big the pot is. And you put this amount of water right there to the little buttons for the, um, to get your water going. I'm going to go ahead and back this back up a little bit more because you guys are not getting a full sight of what is going out in this kitchen. So you definitely want to make sure nothing is inside of the, um, bring it a little bit closer. You want to make sure nothing is inside of the oven, you guys, as you're getting ready to um, preheat your oven for your cornbread. And I told you guys that I'm using um, the Jiffy Mix. So I usually use 400 for my um, my cornbread. For my chicken, I'm going to put it down between medium and six until that cornbread gets it going, until this uh, tuna salad gets it popping, and then I can be able to move like that. So back over here to the meal prepping. This is my next pot here that I'm going to be using, you guys, okay, for my poke beans. So I'm done with this chicken here. I'm done seasoning it. I'm going to put it over here and out the way. These are my utensils that I still have left that I'm going to be using to cook my food with. And these are part of the menu. So this and this can go over here. This and this can come back over here. So with this pot here is where all three of these cans are going to be going. So... I'm going to give them a quick wash at the top of them. Right now, I'm opening my can. Hold them in the back. Jenny says you can be my little helper. Throw this away. some of this juice off of one of these cans, off of these cans of poker beans that I put in the pot already. And I believe, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Sure, there's a more in there. So the chicken and the flour could go on this side because I will be um, frying on this side. So I'm moving the chicken and the flour over here by the chicken and flour side. Because that's going to be ready to go. So back over here, I'm going to get that cornbread mixed up real quick. I just want y'all to see my side over here. Jenny says you can pass me the butter out of the refrigerator. Okay. The butter. The tube of butter right there. 
There. Excuse me. Down. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So I'm definitely going to rinse my spoon back off. I will be putting a spoon full of butter and some sugar inside of the cocoa bean. Can I get the sugar for you? Are you already have the sugar? Turn these poker beans down because I don't need them to cook their face. I'm going to put a little bit of water inside of this. Um, I put water, excuse me, and put a little bit of salt to get the ball rolling for that. Also, to add flavor to the water. And I'm going to take this spoon because I use all the oil. And I'm going to take like two scoops of this. Go ahead and um, turn it off. It's stuck in here. Go that way. Now, what you doing in there? So, as you guys can see, there's no fire in here. The fire alarm just sounded off. That's all. What you working in? All right, so those two spoons inside, two teaspoons of that oil inside of the pot that I'm going to be applying the um, water in for the noodles is perfect. I'm going to turn down this chicken. Um, that chicken pot, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my cans and turn so I can get rid of this um so I can get rid of this can open on the counter. Tuna. Get it out of where Mommy? Up there and over there. Okay. Mommy? So to get this cornbread going, like I said, you have to have your sugar. Sugar. On everything. Yeah. I want to see this. Genesis, I'm gonna need you to go have a seat. Thank you. This is not a, a, a Q and A time. See you later. I'll call you when I'm ready for you. Thank you. Sometimes children just um like to bombard their way up in your process, and you got to send them on about their way. It was all throughout the day. I, I heard nothing from Genesis, and now when I come come here now in this section, and I'm recording. You want to hear Genesis, not right now. So back to my cooking. Close this back door back now you in lock it. Hmm? What's that? What's that? What's that? A moth. It's a moth. It's not gonna hurt you. Go, okay, go ahead and close the door. I'm gonna need y'all to go in y'all room. 
I'll see y'all in a minute. Call you when the food's done. Thanks. There we go. Now, so we're going to be using this, a box and a half. To butter my, I got to butter myself. You got to butter your pan. That's what happens when the kids come and distract me and throwing you off your A game. Run them on up out of here. You ain't. You said you was coming to learn, not coming to ask all the questions. You not asking no questions pertaining to this meal. So that's what happens. So you just take a um a teaspoon. And just butter your um your glass on up, butter it up, butter it up. You guys don't forget to make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Also share it. And thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. So here, I want to get a bigger bowl. That little bowl is not gonna work for me. So I'm gonna get a size bowl like this. I'm gonna put it over here. That's done. I'm gonna open up the next box. I'm only gonna use a half of this box, okay? Moth just flying in here, being very rude. Go ahead, open that front door up. So I'm gonna take one egg, you guys. Bust it in now. My fire don't keep coming off. I guess I gotta clean this um this oven out.
get you. Dang. I'm also going to be pouring a little bit of sugar off in this cornbread. There you go. Now I'm going to be doing it. Which one's in the bathroom? Yes. I'm going to work out. All right, you guys, so it's time to get the ball rolling. We're about to go ahead and put this inside the oven. We have our oven preheated already. We're going to put it down on that bottom row. Mouth. Don't come back over here by my, my pots. I love these things. Where's this mouth at? I'm sick on. I'll follow a little trick to frying my chicken. I put a little salt. I just killed it. There it is. There's another one. Oh. No, I killed it. I killed it. All right, you guys. So I got my bag. I'm going to be putting my chicken inside of my bag. I cook at least about four pieces at a time. Oh, shit. You got me all in your life. I know, right? 
Number um, for tonight to cook that fried chicken. Pass me that other um, dish detergent out there called in that five eight box. The dish detergent in that five box for my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, wash up the dishes that I use, which are currently right here. gonna get back over here y'all. Let's get back over here. Y'all 
You also want to make sure that you're moving your noodles around while they're cooking so they don't stick. Anybody seen my spoon holder that I put my own? Um... All right, guys. You guys, that's what it is. They go that chicken doing this thing over here. in the oven so we ain't got to keep worrying about that so right now we can just go ahead and just look at this you guys as it's um cooking up that cornbread down in the oven as you guys can see and it's just what it is y'all watch how this process go So you guys on the noodle game on the noodle tip you don't want to cook your noodles too fine you want to cook them just right and um because you're gonna be making a salad you're not trying to make it mushy so you know you want to make them good i'm gonna say good just right these puffer beans is coming along just right and butter stirring it on up that's all that is is butter baby that's all that is is butter All that is floating to that top, but the chicken over here doing what he got to do. I turned it up to 26 and 7. I'm going to go ahead and drop it on 7. But the cornbread is getting where it's going, so I put it up on 7. So that'd be good. So that way the first batch you can go ahead and cook, and then the second batch you can go on in and cook. careful with her genesis so as you guys can see this meal is definitely going 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 the way i need it to go
Didn't I tell you to slow down with her? Yeah, Janice is a promise plan through the house, you guys. But this is definitely my meal prep. This is what the meal is, you guys. And I'm going to be uploading a feature of the meal when it is done and the plate plating of it so thank you guys so much for watching my video and sticking in with me watching slr family cooking my meal fried chicken some sweet beans tonight and also some tuna salad thank you guys so much for your time make sure you guys like subscribe and share this page and you have a wonderful night thank you mm -hmm.